Okay, so we're back. So Selena tells um Latrice, well, as long as you and um Cliff don't go through on a divorce, because Latrice said that we didn't damn near divorce almost 16 times. And it's like, Selena, what kind of friend are you? You see she's in a burning house. You ain't gonna say nothing. You ain't gonna call the police. You ain't gonna give water. What's going on says you gonna turn a blind eye. Y'all gotta be aware of people that don't want you to be happy. Okay, now maybe Selena just minding her business because Latrice is a grown woman, right? I haven't forgot about that. But it's just like she's in a burning house and that's her issue with them women that they can see that she's in a burning house and she doesn't want them to see that. They can't help what they see though. Okay, and then we have him grabbing her up. I posted y'all those pictures, those bruises on her arm. What's up with that? Then he pop up wherever she is. She can't have a drink with Josh and her homegirl in peace. Like, you are not, that's what I'm saying. Like, marriages and relationships become weird um, when you feel like you need to abuse and control somebody. Like, that's not how they are supposed to be. That's why I, I get upset and offended when people be like, yeah, but you're not meant to be by yourself. Uh, yes, you are if you're always freaking getting abused, okay, getting disrespected. You're better off by yourself because a lot of people don't know how to be in relationship with people. They know how to destroy things, look successful on the outside and try to destroy people behind closed doors, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. They will keep you from your dreams, sabotage, manipulate circumstances so you don't get to where you need to go. Ask me how I know, okay? Been there, done that. A mess. But Latrice is blinded by the fact this man, you know, he got money and, you know, he's spending it on businesses. She's attaching her name. She doing everything right in that regard, but you're still in a burning house. But y'all be thinking because y'all a power couple with a nigga, you know. Yeah, our shit don't stink and don't nobody smell it but us. Girl, bye. So Latrice gets to tell us Selena that she's going to the Corrective Collection. That's the event that Aikisha is having so all the ladies can work out their issues. Latrice starts talking to Selena about So Gucci. She mentions Selena and Gucci being in court. Selena said Gucci did a peace bond, but the judge knocked it down to a no contact order. I bet Gucci is pissed Selena is on this show. I bet you. <laughs> Beyond her being JJ's ex-wife, it's, it's, I think, I think it's a, a bruise to her ego like because at first when they got into it she was like you are extra you are extra now she on the damn show on the same show as you that gotta hurt we got marie and her mother she says her mother you know you know is still struggling i told y'all i would you know I would have to be done with the mother. Like, your family could really make or break you, and I just don't think it's worth it. I think you can support her, make sure she's in a facility, you know, but she can't really be in your life like that. You're going to have to um, separate to elevate because she's dealing with some demons that maybe she's not willing to deal with to you know she's not willing to confront a lot of older people they lack humility they w lack change in themselves um they just a lack the acknowledgement of their faults of their wrongdoing so that's why a lot of them get so defensive and triggered when you try to tell them how they made you feel in the past no i did the best i could i did it and i you don't know and and they you know so it's just like girl you go out to let that go even if it's your mother and that's a lesson I had to learn. Like, even if somebody is your mother, if they are hurting you, you know, and 
in a lot of different ways. They're not helping you, you know, because a lot of people, you got to realize your family is your team. They are there to support you. And if they can't support you, they are bringing you down. So we see Marie's cousin, Sue and Maria is two of them. Where Jareus? Where is Jareus? I love how Marie say Jareus. And he's handsome as hell. Her kids are beautiful, honey. So I guess they're they're uh, her other cousin, Nettie. Um Marie used to help out. She used to be a stripper. Um she doesn't want Marie at the party that they are inviting her to. I love Marie with the finger waves, honey. That is so pretty. I like that dress she had on. Marie allowed her to work for her accounting firm. She changed her life. So Sue, Latanya, child, y'all know I don't trust folks when they got all these damn names, okay? Shit, who you think you is? Diddy? Okay. But she gets to saying, well, you big and successful and, you know, you make us feel small. And see, that could go both ways. You probably feel bad about yourself. A lot of people that you came up with, you can't be cool with them no more because they're not happy for you and they're not on your level, you know. Some people can be cool with you, but I guess uh, the lady is saying Marie be talking down to him. She probably do. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. That's not fair. You don't treat people like that. A mess. So they say that they feel like Marie is embarrassed by them and they want to feel included. Marie says that both of them has worked with her. I think they still working with her about 15, 16 years. So it's like, girl... Marie says they are stuck in a rut and they're taking it out on her and people will do that. So we are at the collective correction. This is Aikisha's event where she's going to try to get everything worked out between the girls. Because, honey, the girls are fighting. So Letitia, honey, has doubts. Letitia. <laughs> she has doubts about... um. Aikisha's event because she like do you just want your agenda push I think that Leticia think that Aikisha is an opportunist that likes to take over things same thing with the Ferris Street project but Aikisha can get further you know because she got the family she got the generational wealth so a mess Child Tambra daughter look just like Damon, honey. Ain't no denying that baby. That baby look just like Damon. She's cute. Baby, Aikisha got the girls walking. I was cracking up. They did not want to walk in them heels. They about to have some charcuterie, get some drinks. Baby, so my girl Marie, she, she skipped out on the collective, honey. On the collective corrective or corrective collect, whatever the hell it is. She skipped out. Her uh, treatment center is about to open. That took priority. Marie, you are crazy. And she looks so pretty in her confessional. A mess. Leticia misses Latrice. She's going through a lot in her life, facing a lot of demons. Latrice was like one of the only people she could really talk to about certain things. Latrice starts tearing up. Leticia starts tearing up. So Latrice says that she talks behind the girls' backs and to their face. And she feels like they just talk behind her back. Girl, they be saying that shit right to your face. You just don't want to hear it. You're just in denial. That's why it never goes anywhere. Because you are in denial about what's going on in your marriage. You're not even being honest with yourself. You're living a lie and you're blaming other people. That is something these women in these burning houses will do. They will blame other people. That way they don't have to deal with their messed up life. So yeah, Latrice, you're winning because of money, right? That's that thing. I'm I'm winning because I'm able to purchase these buildings and do this and do that and have these businesses, but you're in a burning house. So that's why it falls on deaf ears when you are working on new things because you still have not improved the part of your life that's so fucked up and it's your relationship with that man. He's bringing you down. 
Okay, but you, my husband, my husband, your own mother told you he ain't no damn good. Aikisha says this has to be a safe space. You have to let us know how you feel and what bothers you. I think she holds a lot inside. That way she can be the victim. There are people that that do that, right? Because that is the priority, okay? The priority is being a victim, never taking accountability or responsibility for her bad behavior. All that turning a blind eye in your relationship, in, in your marriage, it affects other relationships. It do. What you do in one relationship, it will spill over into the other until it's corrected. Okay? Until you confront it. Okay? Until you conform and do something different. Okay? Until Latrice gets rid of Cliff, all them relationships go they go go down the gutter. And I'm already looking at her and Selena, and Selena is gonna be your bar manager. And I get it, she done made six figures doing it. You know, it sounds good, but you gotta watch it, you know, doing business with friends. You know, if you value that relationship, how about you know, respect the boundaries? Look at the situation with Gucci, how that went left, you know. Baby, I love Aikisha's suit. A teal suit. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So pretty. So Aikisha accused uh, Leticia's husband of trying to set her husband up. And I'm going to say this. Um, I think that Aikisha's husband, he's like the most decent, innocent guy on here. And the guys are going to give him a hard time because the way they look at relationships and marriages is you are to control your woman. You are to disrespect her, cheat on her, make her question and doubt herself. So they're not going to get along with Willie. They're not. They go see him as a weak ass simp that Aikisha has on a leash. So Aikisha, a lot of these women's marriages are messed up. Marie was in a burning house when she was over there with Cedric. We see Tambra and the guy. They are fake and phony. You the only one in something real. They coming for you, sis. Watch out. So, Aikisha says that Leticia and Glenn were going to try to set up her husband, Willie, with some girl to slide up in his DMs. That way, I guess, Aikisha could be in a burning house like the Leticia. Leticia, you another one. You need to get the hell away from Glenn. He's bringing you down. And I hope you're not doing this dumb shit, because this is dumb. But this is what happens when you're in a burning house with a nigga. His bad behavior become your bad behavior. His character becomes your character. Okay? The fucked up shit that he do, you gonna start doing it. You gonna start thinking the shit is normal. When it's toxic and dysfunctional. And if you would just drop this zero and get you a hero, all would be well. You wouldn't be reaching. You would be trying to do some couples dates with Aikisha. But no, this is what life is like on the first floor. Okay, misery loves company. Tambra says, y'all say it's a safe space, but it's not. She gets on uh, so Gucci. Tambra, you're just fake and you be lying. Tambra is one of those people where she just wants to pull up, uh, put up walls and wear masks. So she may be good at her career, but that doesn't make you a real down to earth, genuine person. You fugazi, baby. She accuses So Gucci of being shady, talking about her family. <laughs> Gucci is so extra. My assailant, she gets to talking about the hearing her and Selena was at. My assailant walked in. Come on, bitch. Play the victim. <laughs> you were the victim, though. I told y'all I'm team Gucci with that. I just love how Aikisha is giving it to Latrice. Like, girl, we see the bruises. We see you act like we're just talking about you for no reason. Like I said, she's delusional. She's been in that burning house for so long. She thinks that the girls don't see the black eyes. What's she saying on What's Love Got to Do With It? Vanessa Bell Calloway to Angela Bassett. Girl, you can't keep hiding black eyes from us and think we don't see it. We know this nigga bringing you down and putting bruises on your body. I showed y'all the pictures. And that's the thing with women that suffer from domestic abuse. If you call it out, they are ashamed, you know, and she feels threatened by the truth. But it's the truth. How did the bruises get on your arm, girl? 
child, a mess. We see Antoinette is back. Antoinette is being shady with Latrice. They are making fun of Aikisha. She doesn't have the key to the city. She needs a GoFundMe. 